Hey, what's up? This is Mike from Devil Driver, and you are watching Groovy TV. Hey guys, this is Jeff from Devil Driver, and you're watching Groovy TV. Groovy. This is mine. I'm interviewing you. All right, cool. All right, so uh, how long did it take to get the purple in that beard? Honestly, I started growing this thing about four years ago. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, and the color is actually a Walmart special. It's an $8 oh. package called, like, Wild Teens or something silly. Shopping High Society. <laughs> huh? Walmart. We shop there. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Doesn't every, even Sean shops there. <laughs> Yeah, you probably got that hoodie at Walmart. That's a Devil Driver hoodie. Let's check out the Devil Driver $29. hoodie. $29.95. <laughs> Dude, they're $5 now. <laughs> yeah, I got the mic back. <clears throat> hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Mike and Jeff from Devil Driver here at the Summit Music Hall in Denver, Colorado. How the heck are you gentlemen? Wonderful. Great, thanks. Sweet. Now, this tour is pretty freaking awesome. How's it been going for you guys? It's been great. The only major mishap we've had is, unfortunately, Silosis is not here because they got into a car accident. Uh, that was pretty bad for him in Montreal, and so they had to cancel the rest of the tour. Uh, uh, yeah. A um, couple of them landed in the hospital. Um, by the way, they are accepting donations. They're, uh, I think, it's, I believe it's Silosis at Hotmail.com to okay. help with their uh, hospital bills and uh, other fees that they're, you know, I'm gonna have to deal with. Right. Yeah, What's the status of uh, everyone? Actually, I haven't heard anything lately. I've heard. I heard a couple of them had. Uh, There's some broken bones involved, and uh, I, th I think two or three of them were in the hospital. Um, honestly, I haven't heard much after the, you know, anything right. outside of that. But um, all right. Well, we as a metal. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So that's the most important part. But that was a major bummer. But other than that, the tour's been great. After nice. the burials awesome band um i really like seeing them it's cool to see uh people you know seeing some guys do what they do on eight strings oh yeah every day and uh trivium and old buddies of ours you know toured them i think this is our third tour with them and uh yeah it's just good one, fun guys big happy family <laughs> right on now the new album came out in august i absolutely love it Thank it's freaking badass now what was it like putting it all together I was a pain in the ass, just like any other record. <laughs> but uh, no, I hate recording too. No, it was fun. It was, uh, you know, I mean, it, we didn't really stray much from our old process. We did a lot of the pre-production at my house, and um, it was kind of a, you know, a, a cozy ending. You know, for for Desi got to do the vocals at his house, and uh, you know, we got most of the work done before Christmas, so we could spend. Christmas with our families Perfect. and uh, ended up doing the rest of the solos at my studio at my house and um, you know Mark flew out from Florida mm -hmm. and uh, mixing process went pretty smooth what's yeah. your take on it it was good man I mean it's always a long process because we don't like stop touring and then write it's just writing intermediately like on breaks and stuff so right. it's a long time it's a it's a big accomplishment when the record's done um, but yeah you know it's uh, it's Definitely a lot more difficult of an element than I think than touring is because touring you kind of get in a routine where you can just go out and do the same thing. Like the creative process is definitely challenging, you know. But we had a good time. Yeah, some bands will actually like writing on tour, but you guys, you're, you're not like that, right? No, we are. Definitely, yeah. we are. I mean, yeah, that's how we were able to crank out a record almost every two years. You know, we have to write on tour. I actually remember being at this venue last time, uh, working on the solo for Curses and Epitaph. Nice. Uh, and tabbing it out over by the merch booth because we were on tour with Guar. So, you know, unfortunately, we didn't. You know, I didn't really have a place to set up <laughs> here because they have so much Guar stuff everywhere. <laughs> and uh, I was hanging out at the merch. A tent uh, or the merch booth before uh, doors opened working on that solos and I kind of you know had a little deja vu when I walked in here today <laughs> they actually interviewed Odorous right over there and grabbed his massive schlong too oh, it, was, yeah. it was one of those life moments for me yeah I've grabbed it he's been around the block a few times and I've grabbed it Careful. yeah have you grabbed a schlong I have not did you wash your hands <laughs> I, I still haven't to this day are you kidding me <laughs> I'm gonna go wash up right now. That's an inside joke too. <laughs> I think we're all gonna shower after this interview, though, so it'll be all right. <laughs> all right. So after this tour, what are you guys working on? Where are you going? We have two weeks off, and then we go right back out again with after the burial and trivium for another wow. six weeks in the states. 
Wow, lots of trivium love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to be real close after this tour. <laughs> and then we have uh, holidays off, going to Australia for Soundwave in February. Mm -hmm. um, after that, we do have some very special plans, which I'm not allowed to disclose yet. Top secret. Um, we're going somewhere we've never been. Antarctica. Uh, close. <laughs> but... Uh, we had a couple offers to do Antarctica, but we turned them down, and uh, <laughs> we decided to go with our, our uh, plan B. <laughs> More bikinis where you go, and I take it? Uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, just a couple. But we're doing that, and then we have, uh, we're have we scheduled to go back to Europe, I believe, in late March, early April. Nice. On, nice. A, on a headlining run. All right, well, unfortunately, you've reached the part of the interview where I ask you a bunch of stupid questions. Are you ready? Love it. Sweet. Are you ready, yes. sir? I'm nice. Brand new question. The Enigma came up with this one for us. Here it is. On average, in North America, the North American District 1, I believe it's called, what is the average amount of grooves on a vinyl record? Grooves on a vinyl record? Yeah. Yeah, I've never thought about that before. Hold on a second, let me get my Google out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grooves on a record. Let's see. Well, depends on the length of the album. Because well, we're saying average. An average. I don't know. I'll say five hundred. Say seventeen hundred. I, I think I read something that was like fourteen or seventeen hundred. Maybe I'm completely wrong. There's two. <laughs> one continuous groove on one. Ah, <laughs> it's a trick question. <laughs> Thanks to the Enigma for that one. Now you can Google it. Okay, so how many spaces in between the one groove? Oh, that'd be, I'd say, at least his 1,700, 1700? don't you? 1,700? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let Matthew pick the next one. We have a whole list of fun things. Are they all trick questions? <sighs> no, some of them are just fucked up. Uh, okay. <laughs> that works. Which one? We already did a trick question, so I don't want to throw it Okay. Well, what do you got? Let's do math. You ready? Oh boy, we've been out of school for 10 years. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> IQs have dropped. I never had one. I just picked it off the floor and used it on occasion. Okay. How many times does the number nine appear between the numbers one and 100? Take your time. We'll just put the uh, Jeopardy theme over the top of it. Ten times. Is it ten? Is it nine? A lot more. Oh, wait, the, na the number nine, like... Between one and one hundred? Uh-huh. Way more, you said? That's another trick question. Now, now, see, now I just feel flat wait, out stupid. Wait, the number nine, like... <laughs> that was good at that. No one gets this right. Self as an integer or as, like, a sum of two integers? No, just we, an integer. Are we, are we talking decimal points, too? No, no, no. We could. Like, like whole numbers, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, well. It's okay, because when I first heard the question, I said 11. Well, there's 9, 19, uh -huh. 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89. 99. 99, that's 11, you know? Is it 11? So. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Right, 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 right. <laughs> this is where I get stabbed by Devil Driver. <laughs> What's the name of the radio show again? Um, we're WQRX in uh, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Oh, Sheboygan. Have you seen that tape? I forget the name of it already. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry for clotheslining. <laughs> This is Groovy. I'm your devil driver here at Summit Music Hall, Denver, Colorado. Rock on!